Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Game of Guitar Productions and today I will be showing you guys how to actually double your game's FPS using a new method that was released by AMD not too long ago. Now unlike my other videos regarding doubling your FPS, this method has a higher chance of working on your PC. Most other ones are hit or miss, but this one can be truly amazing if you use it right. Now the method for this video is named AFMF or AMD Fluid Motion Frames. This is basically DLSS, but from a company that actually cares about as consumers. NVIDIA created their own version of frame generation named DLSS but made it so that only their newest GPUs worked with it. But AMD came to save the day and released not only FSR3 which works on both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs but also released a driver based frame generation that would work on any game. Now what's so special about FSR3 is that not only did they update it a lot but it also comes with frame generation. If you can manage to find a game that supports FSR3 right now the game should work flawlessly. Now if you're trying to enable frame generation through the Radeon software you go to gaming then you want to look at your games now you want to do this per game because if you do this globally you might get games like among us which any pc could be able to play and then you'll be having frame generation working on a game like that and that is just not good so you want to make sure that you are doing this per game so you can skip all of those problems so let's say for instance i'm using alan wake 2 i'll just click on it then i'll scroll down until i see amd fluid motion frames now as you guys can see it says boost FPS with frame generation. Now for a short explanation, basically frame generation creates fake frames amongst the real frames which basically makes a game look a lot smoother and feel a lot smoother than it really is. So let's say for instance my games will be locked at 30 FPS and frame generation will be trying to boost my FPS from that FPS to my monitor's refresh rate or FPS. So I will be locked at 30 FPS and my game will be achieving 60 FPS simply off of frame generation making my game look smoother and feel smoother now if you look at the question mark it says that this will also work on DirectX 11 and 12 with vsync disabled which is already good because if you looked at my last video you will see that I said that you should not use vsync anyways you should be using enhanced sync if you have a AMD GPU it is way easier now if you're using the driver based frame generation which is within the Radeon software you will need to do more first lock your FPS to half of your monitor's refresh rate using something like RTSS, then enable AFMF per game, then just go into that game and see how well it works. Now there are some important facts you should know. First, your game needs to be achieving at least half of your monitor's FPS. If not, stuttering can get bad and AFMF would be basically useless. Last but not least, if you move your game's camera too fast, the frame generation will turn off. Not sure why, but I would assume it's for quality reasons. So consider turning down game sensitivity. Now that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this useful, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment any issues you run into. See you in the next one.